Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Continuing coverage of the NHL, the Tampa Bay Lightning, one of the best groups in hockey these days. And we are about to see why firsthand on the ice tonight. Setters both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Bruins take possession to get this one underway. Battle along the boards. Taken along the wall by McAvoy. Directed over to Marchand. With some open space at center. And he takes the pass. Oh, scores! And quick as a hiccup to fall the board here in this one. Well, that's a dream start, James, and it's one they were looking for. You want to come out, you want to get out front, and you want to dictate pace. Did you see the torque on that stick? I mean, imagine if we got a freeze frame. It would have been bent. Almost looked like it could have snapped in half after that quick release snapshot. The Bruins were preaching getting off to a good start after the morning skate, Cheryl. I didn't think they were really going to follow through this quickly. Well, you can't write up a better script in this one. I mean, just to start the game, you come out on fire and you silence the crowd. That's the way to get started. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. Takes the feed. Here's a shot. Textbook stop by Vasilevsky. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Boston's up, one zip. Tampa Bay's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Moves it quickly over to point. Takes the feed. Fast and quick lead pass. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Poked away in the neutral zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Poked away at center by Marchand. The Bruins going to work on offense. Passes it to Paul. Quick pass to Hedman. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Moves into the offensive zone. Boston's playing it from the side. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And he takes the dish. Across the line from center. Sends a pass over. Oh, he'll feel all of that after this one. Some players get into the game by physically engaging early. There's a fine line there, but that was executed perfectly. That opportunity is rejected. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Quick feed to McAvoy. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. And a stick break set up. The Bruins get a hold of it. Slides it diagonally to DeBrusk. Van Riemsdyk's moving it ahead. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Bruins gain possession. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Takes the feed. And that's blocked away. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Driving right to the front. Oh, and he makes another save. Tampa Bay's got the puck behind the net. Great feed from the left side. Poked away at center by Carlo. Sends it in on the attack. Handles the pass. Puck grabbed by Isimo. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one-goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Tampa Bay's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. 
Well, in a one-goal deficit on the power play now, you have to take advantage. You have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Tampa Bay's got possession of the puck. The Bolts move the puck in the defensive zone. Tries to the crease. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Coils recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Bolts win the faceoff. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Points ready for the draw on this man advantage. Tampa Bay's won the draw. Fires it. Denies him on the slaughter. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up. Marshawn's aware that you have to do the little things right in order to have success. His no contest zone ability is what makes him great at winning those loose puck battles and gaining possession, guys. Trying to exit the defensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. The Lightning have possession along the boards. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Kucherov's a warrior, and he knows the importance of sticking with it when the team is down, guys. Look to him to try to use his zone ability to spark the offense here. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And that somehow stayed out of the net. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Points a player who can help get his team back in this game, guys. If he can use his zone ability to generate offense, they can close the gap on the scoreboard. Tampa Bay's won the faceoff. Oh, he makes the save! I thought he was beaten on that one-timer, but no! Zaka's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Oh, a save of the play! Whoa. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Handles the puck. Moving into the attacking zone. The Bolts have it from their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Here's a chance. That's not going to fool him. Here's a short pass to Kucherov. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, well, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Zaka. Moves it to Kucherov. Shot! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Swayman! Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. That knocks him off the puck. Heinen's penalty is almost expired. And he takes the feed. Quick stop! Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Angles it over to Hagel. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Oh, what a hit! He sacrificed his body to make the play. Tries to feed it over to Kiki. He carries the puck up along the wing. Pokes it away in his own end. Puck scooped up by Pasternak. Great use of the stick at center by Radish. Puck picked up by Paul. On the attack along the boards. Oh, what a save in front. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Coyle. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. To the front! Knocked away. Here's a shot. Glove save. 
We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Bruins lead it 1-0. Boston's got the win off that draw. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. The Lightning have taken to the offensive attack. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes the pass. And that's knocked away by Pasternak. The Bolts gain control of the puck against the wall. Skates across the blue line. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Moves it quickly over to Boquist. Moves the puck. Quick pass to Boquist. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. And that's off a stick. Quick feed to Boquist. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Lightning have taken possession in their own end. Here they come on the attack. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, he gets beat clean by the shot, James, and he's only one player in front of the net, but it's not about how many, it's about where you are, and when you take away the, the eyes of the gender, this is exactly what can happen. The centermen glide into position. And off the draw, they take the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Fires it! Oh, how did he stop that one? Wow! Boston's moving it along the wing. Look out, here they come on the attack! Oh, that's got to hurt. What a play. Quick pass across to Paul. The pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Bolts take possession here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Carlo. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Great reach with the poke check. Van Riemsdyk's got control of the puck in the corner. Chernak's lugging the puck. Points, got it through the neutral zone. And he takes the feed. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Here's a short pass to Carlo. The Lightning have gained control of the puck along the wall. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Tampa Bay's got the puck at center. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Hegel, such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Scooped up along the wall by Heinen. Handles the pass from the right side. With possession along the wall. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Taken along the wall by Isimo. Moves it to Hedman. Here he is in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Listen, Jane, the shooter's in the slot. This is as high danger as it can get, and he challenges. He's set, ready to go in great position and makes the save as a result. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Off the draw, they take possession. Musa quickly over to Lauco. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Quick pass to Christian. And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Well, that's a huge shift. And you can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent.
on it when they're down. Well, that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because it gets off his stick so fast. The Bolts have gone up by one here in the opening frame. How does this now change the complexion of this one? Well, I think it's really important because they got momentum right now. More jump to their step, and now they'll want to try and stay aggressive and increase that lead. Take the momentum and use it to their advantage. Quick feed to Bokwis. Denies him! Vasilevsky's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck square to it and makes the save. Still lots of time left in the period. The Bolts are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. And that's poked away by Pasternak. Grabbed along the board by Coyle. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Pasternak's looking to turn the tide of this matchup, guys, and he can do that with his zone ability. It's an important aspect of his game. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Moves it to the middle. They score! and that's exactly what he does here. He knows how to manipulate his opponent to open up the lane, but it's all about the pass. It's got to be on the money if you want to do something with it. Tampa Bay's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. Coyle's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Save. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Boston's grabbed a hold of the puck. Nice feed from the right wing. Here's a short pass to Coyle. Way too much congestion blocks that. And he passes it up ahead to Pere Poulet. Gains the zone through the middle. Sends the pass over. Along the half wall with the puck. Fires it on net. Grabs it with the glove. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Hetman is an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys. And that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick em up zone ability. And it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. Moves it to Carlo. Here's a shot. Oh, what a glove save. Wow. Here in the back half of this period, Tampa Bay's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Glenn Dennings won it in their own end. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck. And now he angles it across to Mott. Scrum along the wall. Slides the puck down low. Debrusque stick handling in his own zone. Slides the puck across to Carlo. Boston's crossed the line and on the attack. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Sends it in front and that's stopped. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Tampa Bay still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. The Bolts take possession off the faceoff. Musa quickly over to SMO. Tampa Bay's got it along the wall. Works it across to Sorelli. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. The Bolts will go to work here in the offensive zone. And it takes a shot. 
right in the slot. Turned aside with the glove. Sorelli's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. The Lightning have the puck in their own end. Essimont's got it along the boards. Nice dish from the left wing. Loses his balance on the play. Stopped by the goaltender. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. More than half the frame has been played here. Tampa Bay's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. Quick pass to McAvoy. Along the wing up the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Great defensive effort with the stick. Tampa Bay's moving it into the offensive end. Paul's got it along the boards. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. The Bolts continue to lead midway through the first. They have really put on an offensive clinic so far. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And there's a great save by Swayman! Boston's on the attack. Shot! And that goes off the face of the goaltender. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Pasternak's got that snipe zone ability, which is that wicked accuracy from shooting when the puck is nice and settled. Kucherov's good at making accurate passes with his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability. It's how he sets up his teammates for success. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. From one point man to another. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. And that carries off a stick. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Tampa Bay's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Lays out to block it. The Lightning have taken possession along the wall. Made the stop on that play. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. More than half the period has expired. 3-1 is where we're sitting. Fans being treated to a lot of offense thus far. Boston's got a hold of the puck. Quick feed to Marchand. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Sends it in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the boards. The Bolts have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Goaltender gave up nothing as it hits the outside of the post and will play on. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Bolts have been the dominant team here midway through the first period, and they lead it. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Feeds it over to Radish. Tampa Bay's in on the offensive attack now. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Here's a short pass to SMO. Slides the puck over. The Bolts played along the wing. Misses! Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. The Bolts win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Scores!
Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Tampa Bay's taken full advantage of their scoring opportunities with a comfortable lead here in the first. Paul's won the draw at center. Slides the puck to Hedman. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Oh, what a stop by Swayman! I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Smart heads up play to neutralize the threat. Takes a shot, and he was ready for that one. And the puck's knocked loose. Picked up along the boards by Stamkos. Tampa Bay's got the puck in the defensive end. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. I just had a gander at the bench and the energy and the body language. I mean, they're defeated, James, and now they have to kill off another penalty down a bunch of goals. It's a tough one. Tampa Bay's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. And the play continues. Gets it out of his own end. And that plays offside. We got a faceoff coming up. Coils recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Bruins win the draw. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Sends it into the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Sorelli. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the glove. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Coils won a big draw in their own end. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Man, James, does he ever look shaken up after that huge hit? I mean, I'm not sure if he got winded or if he's injured, but he's trying to make his way back to the bench. Hegel's just trying to get back on his feet here. I mean, that was a tough hit right through the body. I'm sure he's still feeling the effects of that one. Coyle's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And off the draw, they win possession. Marchand's got it in the defensive end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's gained possession along the boards. Kucherov's carrying it ahead. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Looking to clear the defensive zone. Oh, and it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kept in. Well, that won't keep you on the PK, that's for sure, James. The coach wants that puck out, and it's on your stick. you got to make sure that it goes 200 feet down the ice. Gives them nothing in front. Oh, and it's another save on the play. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Puck hops onto the bench, and we got a stoppage in play. What an opportunity here on the power play with this offensive zone draw. It's all about motion and puck movement. Make the goaltenders already fatigued move. Picked up along the wall by Stamkos. Stops him cold. Puck is frozen and will get a faceoff. Paul's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop! Scooped up along the wall by Mott. Coming to the slot! Denies him in close! The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Lauko's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. 
The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Boston's looking to break out. Over the line they come. Lacks it into the offensive zone. DeBrus almost back on the ice. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. And now it's over to Pasternak. Being on the power play is a privilege. Trust me, I know I was never on it. Always on the PK. So for those players who didn't execute, yes, they had a comfortable lead, and some would say it's not a big deal, but to each and every one of them, it should be. The Bolts have come to play with some jump in their step tonight. Look at the shots on goal. They've generated an already lead comfortably nearing the end of the first. Radish is moving the puck through his own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Stamco is so effective. I mean, he's a pure goal scorer, and he has been extra dangerous tonight. Just get the puck to him. Why? He's got two goals in the game, and he's looking for his third. In the final moments of this period, the Bolts lead at 4-1. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Tampa Bay's put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead late in the first. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Up along the wing. Great poke check on the reach. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck now. And he coughs it up with the pass. Moves it quickly over to Krizlik. Slick feed. From point blank range. Vasilevsky's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Bruins win the draw. Denied by the defender. Nice block. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. Saka's on the attack in the offensive zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Taken along the wall by Grislyk. Quick pass to DeBrus. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Quick shot, and that one's turned away. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. The Bruins have it against the wall. From the point, denies the chance by blocking it. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by DeBrusk. Here we go, look at this. They're really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Oh, uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintained pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they'll need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him hemmed in. the face-off circle they'll send the man advantage unit out again no they haven't scored on the power play yet 100 is not a number that you see typically so they've got to find a way to just stay confident trust the process and their skill sets huge play in his own end to come up with the puck dumps it into the ozone the bolts scoop it up along the boards through center along the wing poked away by carlo Takes the puck and will retreat back to his own end. Feeds it to Coyle. Gaining momentum up along the side. Puts it in deep. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Looks to start the transition game behind the net. Quick feed to Sorelli. Receives the pass. Rejected by the blocker. And he takes the pass. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. Boston's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. Centering feed! 
And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a short pass to Marshall. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Looks to get the puck over to Kucherov. Drives to the paint. In close. How did he stop that one? Oh, you can see his body language on that one. He cannot believe that he missed in tight there. It's all about the goaltender getting to position and making the save. Boyle's going to have to keep his head up, James. I mean, he caused that injury on a hometown player, and the crowd is frustrated, and they're booing every time he touches the puck. With the stop. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Paul's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Bolts win the draw on their own end. And that goes off a stick and off to the side. Puck sent over to Stamkos. Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for rounds one through three. That offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by Section 144 on the golf course. Hegel's not going to be able to return to the game, James. I mean, that injury that he suffered earlier is going to keep him out. This is a tough loss for their team. No, and you clearly kind of know where you stand from a coaching standpoint now, but that is a serious blow to the lineup here for the rest of the game. Slides it diagonally to Marchand. With a comfortable lead, James, some would say that that power play really wasn't a big deal, but I would say different. It's really important that you push, you continue to work on your habits because the timing could be different next time. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score, and this is the expectation of the power play, and they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Takes the feed from the wing. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the wall. Puts it on that. Tremendous save by Swayman. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Bolts have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Moves it to Coyle. The Lightning have it in their own zone. Here they come up along the wing. Gaining steam here on the attack. Grizzlick's got the puck in his own zone. Reaches out and uses the stick. Scrum along the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Stamkos. Dismiss that chance. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Nice zone entry on the left side. Makes the easy save with the glove. Vasilevsky's had a solid night between the pipes, James. I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage. But his team has also been really strong. Got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. The Bolts gain possession. Through pass ahead. Takes the feed. Mott's having himself a game, James, and he's already got a goal. Pucks on his stick and really looking to do some more damage. The Bolts have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. Nice job tying up his opponent. Carlos taking it from his own end. The Bruins move to the offensive zone. The Lightning have possession along the boards. From the right side, takes the pass. Shot! Turns it aside with the glove. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. 
Tampa Bay's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. Quick pass to DeHaan. Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Lots of time left in this period. Tampa Bay's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Glenn Denning's got it, and they'll go on the attack. They score! And they're loving it in Newport City tonight! He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the pane, doesn't allow the goalie to get set up, and puts it home. Tampa Bay's got a lot of skill on this roster, and we are seeing it in full effect. And we're only, what, halfway through this game here at period number two? Yeah, it's pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, the confidence at which the entire lineup is playing with is outstanding. The puck's on their stick, they're working their magic, they're manipulating their opponent, and they're filling the net. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Frederick. Quick feed to Purvix. Carries it in. And that's knocked away. The Bruins take possession in the defensive end. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Taken by Glenn Denning. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Passes on over Tassimo. From the open ice, they gain the line. The Bolts carry it along the wall. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Angles it over to Chernak. And that goes off a player. Picked up along the boards by Isimo. And they continue to apply pressure here. Tampa Bay's got possession here in the offensive zone. And he's got that one. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Tampa Bay's offense has come to play in a big way as they've dominated both the shots and goal category. Boston's won the face-off deep in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Bruins will play it in their own end. Sends the pass across the ice. Tries to feed it over to DeBrusque. Grabs it in his own end. Pushes it across to Van Riemsdyk. Boston's got it along the wall. The Bruins played along the boards. Let's move to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Picked up along the wall by Isimo. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. He says, let's get physical on that play. Quick pass across to Sorelli. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Bruins have it now. Boston's got it in their own zone. Moves it over to Krizlik. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Takes it and looks ahead. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Here's a short pass to Krizlik. And now it's grabbed by Pasternak. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Stamkos is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Oh, and he lays out to block that, and that'll earn some respect amongst his peers. Geeky's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Bruins take possession off the faceoff. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Taken here by Kucherov. And a solid stop on the play there. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Grabs control of it at the point. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. 
still has possession. Vasilevsky's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Glenn Denning's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Boston's won it. Now they'll go on the attack. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Comes up with the stop. The Bolts have possession shorthanded. They get it out of the defensive end. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Directs it on over to Zaka. Boston's on the attack. Blocked in traffic. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Takes it across the blue line. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. And he takes the dish. Moves it to Saka. Skates to the crease. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Works it across to Van Riemsdyk. Moves the puck across to Coyle. Boston's got it in the neutral zone. The Bruins take it along the wall. Here's a shot. Scores! And a huge goal to pick themselves up off the canvas. Well, my old coach used to say to me, you gotta stop the bleeding, and that's exactly what they've done, but now they gotta find a way to do something with it. I mean, they have been manhandled this game. Boston's apparently just shown up for this one here, Cheryl. Yeah, they get on the board after being shelled all game. They haven't had many shots on net either, but now they've got to find a way to be aggressive, play physical, and really send a message. The mindset has to change here. Listen, they've got nothing to lose. They might as well go for it and attack. Now a quick pass to Hedman. Feeds the puck to SMO. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Boston's looking to break out of their own end. Slides it diagonally to Frederick. Sends a pass over. Puck dumped in. The Bolts gain control of the puck. Quick pass to SMO. Boston's got control of it now from their own end. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Moves it quickly over to Kiki. And makes the save. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Isimo. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Stops him with the glove! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The Bolts have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Points won the draw there on the attack. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Played big in the moment there. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Bruins looking against the half wall. Puck grabbed by Radish. The Bolts have been first on the puck all night long, and when you possess it, you find ways to attack the net. I mean, it's been a game of keep away out there. Nice zone entry from the right side. The Bruins move it ahead. Quick pass to Laupo. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Vasilevsky. Marchand's the leader of this team, James. They're getting blown out right now. You got to look at it as a game within a game, winning this offensive zone faceoff and trying to get a quick punch on net. And that goes off course. And he makes the save on that play. Coyle's got the puck. From point blank. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The Bolts cross the line and gain the zone. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Here's a chance. Big time stop. Vasilevsky's helping his team with his rebound control and really keeping the puck away from the front of the net and cleaning up the trash. Stamkos carries the puck in his own zone. Dumps it in. Boston's got a hold of it along the wall. 
The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Denied by the goaltender. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Bolts have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Goes right to the crease. Here's a shot. Oh, glove save and a beauty. Tampa Bay has been rewarded for their high activity in the offensive zone with lots of shots, and they lead it here in the second. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Slows them up on the play, and that's going to cost them as the officials caught that one. Great save! And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. And let's see what the call is. The Bolts have been called for hooking. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Feeds it on over to Marchand. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Quick feed to DeBrusque. Handles the pass. And manages to clear the zone. Moves the puck over to McAvoy. Tosses it on to Kiki. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pervix. Boston's got a hold of it against the wall. The Bruins take it across the line. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Puck bounces into the bench and will get a face off. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they clear the zone, and that'll shave some time off. A great sequence by the PK unit. Really aggressive, close quickly on the puck, and they get it down the ice. Tampa Bay's got the puck shorthanded. And they send it down the ice. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Sorelli sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Boston's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Coils at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Tampa Bay's won it. Puck picked up by DeHaan. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Shot. Oh, quick save. The Bolts gain possession of the defensive zone. And that pass goes off a stick. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they clear the defensive zone. Takes the pass from the left wing. With the stop. Makes a save again. Ah, beauty save back there. He's really owning his crease. Coils ready for the draw on this man advantage. Tampa Bay's got it in the defensive zone. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession to the penalty box for the home team. Boston's got a five-on-three, but not a lot of time to work with. A short five-on-three here, James. That You know that they're going to crash the net. They've got to get it on their stick, off their stick, and they've got to crowd the front. The Lightning have gained control of the puck along the wall. 
Here's a short pass to DeBrus. And a quick save on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Marchand. Fires it. And will play on as that gets a piece of the glove. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned off a notch now. And they put it into that attack by finally getting the puck out. Oh, the referee's going to call that one. They do make it count, James. Now, it will negate their power play opportunity, but hey, when you capitalize, you don't get the power play. This is an amazing goal, James, and it starts with incredible speed and maneuverability. You know that you can move the puck side to side and open up and create space like that. You know that you're lethal. And that's exactly what he does before he delivers a pass, and it winds up in the back of the net. The Bruins desperately needed that one here. They did, and one of the key elements for them to have success is to support the puck. Feel like they've been isolated a lot in this game, but a lot of runway left over a period to play in order to get back in. Puck scooped up by Glenn Denning. Oh, he'll feel that one. From the left side, takes the pass. Handles the puck. Handles that one. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Pervix is hauled down. Penalty on the way. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The Bruins are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. As we get set for the faceoff, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Lightning have the puck against the boards. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Great save there! And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Taken along the wall by Hedman. Taken by Point. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he can't hang on after that hit. Boston's got possession of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Picked off by Kucherov. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Fires it! Denies him with the pad. And he takes the feed. Here's a shot! Oh, what a pad save by Vasilevsky! The Bolts gain control of it. With some open space at center. Fires it on net! Great save from in tight. Well, he's got real quick hands, and he doesn't need much time or space to get that shot off. He's known for finding the back of the net. Scores! Oh, man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. The Bolts lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. And they win that neutral zone draw. Carlos got it in the offensive zone. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck. Poked away at center ice. Paul's got it along the wing. He scores! And he completes the hat trick. Well, he's been zipping and buzzing along the ice this entire night. Anthony James, and man, do the fans appreciate him. A real great job by the net front player here. Looking back, seeing where the eyes of the goaltender are and moving accordingly. But if you're the goaltender, you got to out-battle the net front player. you got to find a way to bob and weave and to stop that puck. 
The Bulls can do no wrong this evening, especially in the offensive zone here, Cheryl. Well, the score is a testament to the way they've been playing. I mean, they've been dominating in the offensive zone. They've had the puck on their stick. They're driving play, but they've been really urgent, even with the lead here. A great game for them so far. Tampa Bay's got a small window to go to work here on this power play with the penalty expired. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. Here he is from the slot. Big time save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. The Bolts have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Boston's going to start with the puck in their own end. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Tampa Bay's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. Zaka's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Oh, clip saved by Vasilevsky. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Grislyk. Moves it to McAvoy. Oh, off his club. He just got enough of it. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older. And this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Off the face, off they take the puck. The Bolts take it along the wing. Shot! And there's the save. Grabbed along the board by Paul. Here's a shot. Misses a golden opportunity there. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Bruins gain the zone. Moves it to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Picked up along the boards by Grizzly. And he blocks that one. Puck grab by DeHaan. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And not much on that one. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Here they are on the attack. Takes it into the slot. Makes a save. Too much traffic in the lane. Tries to get the puck over to Chernak. Handles the pass at center. Angles it over to Sorelli. McAvoy's got it in the defensive zone. Across the line and on the attack. Nice defensive robbery on that. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. And loses possession after a solid hit. Frederick's lugging the puck. Taken by Heinen. Moves it quickly over to Kiki. Great stop by Vasilevsky. He looks deep to Mott. Takes the pass. Denied by the goaltender. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Tampa Bay's looking to carry this sizable lead here into the second intermission. They have been the dominant club tonight. Hopeless won the draw here in their own zone. Keeps possession. Hopeless crossed the line and gained the zone. Shot! Oh, wow! What a pad saved by Vasilevsky. Mott's got it in the defensive end. Throws it in. The Bruins scoop it up along the boards. From off the wall and onto a stick. Cutting to the front of the net. Big time save by Vasilevsky. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. Slides the puck across to Hedman. The Lightning have possession along the boards. Boston's got it from behind the net. 
Takes the feed up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Takes the shot. Scores. And they get one back here. Well, I guess it's something to look at positively, James. I mean, the goal scorer certainly is going to feel happy that they've contributed, but they're going to have to find a way to dig themselves out of this hole, and it's a large one at that. They're going to put their work boots on and try and kick it into high gear if they even want an opportunity to claw their way back in this game. The Bruins finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been outbattled, they've been outscored, and they've just been outplayed this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. And that's a smart heads-up play by Marchand. From the point, looks to make something happen. Slides that one right across the blue line. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Tampa Bay's got the puck along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Kucherov. The Hans moving the puck through his own zone. Points got it in the corner. Boston's got the puck. Coils cross the line and is on the attack now. Takes a shot. And the puck dies with the trapper save. Now the shooter's going to run out of real estate because he does a great job of getting out of top of the crease and taking away all the room. When you make yourself as big as possible, there's less holes in the net. Tampa Bay's offense has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. Quick pass to Heinen. Stamkos works the puck in his own zone. Tries to feed it over to Kucherov. Quick shot! What a save with the glove by Swayman! Tampa Bay's been bringing the heat offensively all night long, and they continue to lead here late in this middle frame. Boston's got possession here in their own end. McAvoy stick handling in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Tampa Bay is through center and now in the offensive end. Puts it on net. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Boston's won the defensive zone draw. The Bruins have it now. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Van Riemsdyk. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Oh, what a stop on the play. Gets all of it with the paddle. Let's see what the official says here. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. they got to find a way to play even strength. The Bruins send their man advantage unit out once more. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take a penalty because you're chasing the game, and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. A little more room out there with a little four-on-four. Four. Not typically that we see four-on-four four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. Can't pull the trigger. Quick pass across to point. Into the offensive end right up the middle. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. The Bolts continue to lead here late in the second period by a wide margin. Points got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he takes the feed. Vasilevsky's going to hang on for a whistle.
The Bolts have been the better team through the better part of two periods now as they lead it late in this second. The Bruins take possession here inside the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke check. Kucherov's picking up momentum through center. From the neutral zone now. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Coyle's got it against the boards. The Bolts take the puck through the neutral zone. Moves inside! Denies him in front. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Quick feed to Marchand. And now he tries to get it across to Coyle. Shot! Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Vasilevsky. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. And the stick. Oh, stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save. Incredible, James. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Tampa Bay's got the puck behind the net. Vasilevsky's been so impressive, in particular in that last sequence, James, and he's out of gas. It didn't prevent him from making that save, but now he's going to get some much-needed rest as that puck heads out of his zone. Sends one up to Sorelli. Looks to set up at the point now. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. And there's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. You don't want to go home yet, do you? Third period action still to come. As a safety issue and courtesy to you, our fellow fans, please keep the aisles clear during game play and wait for a break in the action to leave or return to your seat. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. They've dropped the puck here in the third, and it's been a blowout thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. The Bolts have been terrific tonight, and through 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead, and this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in, where they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have to utilize our lineup here, all four lines, versatility, get them out there and rest up players for the next game. Slides the puck over to Kucherov. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. The Bruins look to start the transition game. Boston's got it across the line. Passes over to Stamkos. Here's a short pass to point. Here they come on the attack. To his teammate. Back to the point it goes. He scores! Off the pipe and falls in the twine. pretty if this was a set shot just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in that's not typically the case but tonight it is the bolts continue to ring up the score here in period number three well, it's just been a terrific collective effort now they're on the home stretch and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench rest their star players and this is critical when you're in a long season. Scores! Well, so many goaltenders love to drop to that butterfly position and make themselves as big as possible. That's what he does. He tries to cover up a majority of the net, but there are some holes, and the shooter finds one. The Bruins are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And they grab possession of the puck after that center ice face-off. Sends the pass over. 
Moves it to Saka. Wide of the net. You got to get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on net. Not good enough. Tampa Bay's on total cruise control early in this third period. The Bolts come up with a defensive zone draw. Slides the puck over. Knocked away with the stick by Grislyk. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Boston's got it in their own zone. Here's a shot. Stopped by Vasilevsky. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. Here's a chance. Denied by the puck stopper. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Tampa Bay's turned good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Sorelli's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Boston's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play can be a real tone setter. This one, blah, just about average, James. Good part is, you know what? It's never 100%, but right now is what matters. Glenn Denning's got the puck in his own zone. And they managed to clear it. Boston's gained possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. Shot! Comes up with the stop. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. Scores! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on a power play. And as a result, they score. The Bruins have to find a way to get a couple more here if they want to try to salvage this one. Taking calculated risks, James, and jumping into the attack and pressing upwards. Now, you may give up some opportunities the other way, but you got to go for it. The Bolts have it from their own end. Tampa Bay is playing it through center. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Boston's moving it along the wing. Fires it! And that's denied by Vasilevsky! Moves it quickly over to Carlo. Unloads one! Oh, he's saved it! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And sure, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. Applauding that save we saw. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save to compete the will to keep that puck out of the net. And they're really showing them the love. The Bolts once again send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. The Lightning have it in their own zone. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. To the low slot. Oh, a clutch save! Carries it into the offensive end up the middle. Here's a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Paul's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. The Bruins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, big time hit along the wall. This is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And I'm right there with you, James. I wouldn't want to be along those boards either. It almost looked like he left his feet early, but nonetheless, 
It's a bone crusher. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Bolts with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They'll have to find a way to execute. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Coils gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Blocked in traffic. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Radish. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Sometimes goaltenders just make it look easy, James. And look at how big he makes himself in the net as he's trying to track and find the puck at all costs. It almost looks easy for him, but that's an impressive save. Points won the draw. The Bruins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Into the attacking area from the left side. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Looking to set up offensively. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. They go on the attack through center. Fires it on net. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Paul's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. The Bolts get a hold of the puck in their own end. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. On the attack along the boards. Center and feed. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Tries to get it out of their own end. And they get it out of harm's way. Moves it over to Sheary. Pasternak's out of the box, but they're still shorthanded as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. Cuts to the point. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Paul's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Swoops in and grabs the puck with the centers tied up in the scrum on the draw. Quick feed to Frederick. Slick feed. Huge stop by Vasilevsky. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Here's a short pass to Paul. Oh, fantastic save by Swayman. Receives the pass. And he takes the pass. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? The Bolts get a hold of the puck along the boards. Both sides are evened up now as the power play expires. That's like another great job on the PK, James, knowing exactly where to be at the right times and knowing what your opponent is thinking. And real effective job there. Oh, this has turned into demolition. Derby night after that collision. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. Great poke by Stamkos. Handles it along the blue line. Takes the feed. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. That's the third call of the period, and it really looks like they weren't dialed in or ready to play in this game, and preparation is key. Otherwise, things like this happen. They'll go back to work on their special teams. They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. Puck picked up by Mott. And that goes off, pours off a body. Gaining 
speed through center, and here they come on the attack. Puck picked up by Cora. Off the club and makes the save. Boston's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. They score! Well, how about that? A good defense translates to do an even better offense. That's amazing how a PK can deflate or inflate, and that's an inflator. When you get a shorthanded goal, you know that you switch the momentum. Boston's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this face off and dictate the pace. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it along the wall. Inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Laukos ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. along the wall by point. Makes the move in front. Here's a shot. And he stags that one with the club. McAvoy's an effective stick checker in his own zone, guys, and that helps out his team's defensive game. We call that his stick em up zone ability, and it's what helps disrupt his opponent's attack. Puck scooped up by DeHaan. That eyes him on the play. Works it across to Kiki. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Boston's got the puck here in the open ice. From the point, they take control of it. Points taking it from his own end. The Bolts looking against the half wall. Shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. Centering pass! stick and they can't complete the play play blown dead let's get the call well with a one goal lead there's a small margin of error james and to protect it you can't be in the box now they're short-handed and they got to find a way to kill it off both teams under man a four on three man advantage set to go well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Into the offensive zone. Shot! Gets in front of it. The Bruins have it against the wall. Through center. To the front! Take it along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. Scores! What a comeback! We're all tied! That's what you call taking advantage of a power play opportunity. Just get the PK running. Be pressure-filled and urgent on the puck. And when you create motion, open your lanes, get butts in front of the goaltender, and bury it. 
Austin's got the tying goal, and now can they find that go-ahead goal, Cheryl? They continue the momentum. They certainly can. They look like they're playing free, so they're moving their feet. They're being creative, and they're attacking. They're looking to win this game, not just keep it at evens. And now it's grabbed by McAvoy. Takes a shot, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. And he slides it quickly to McAvoy. Puck is scooped up here inside the offensive zone by Pasternak. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Here we go. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Another chance! Back to back saves, my goodness! And they've got it in their own end now! Tries to clear the puck and manages to clear the zone. Boston's got possession of the puck. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Takes a whack, but still hangs on. What a steal in his own end. Moves it quickly over to McAvoy. Tees him up. Oh, what a save by Vasilevsky. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Puck grabbed by DeBrusque. The Lightning have gained possession under man. The Bruins gain possession. Geeky's going to play it against the half wall. And he gets in front of that. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they'll get some fresh bodies on the ice after that clear. Man, this is how you get a wave of momentum in your favor, James. You get fresh legs out there, and if you can pay attention to your habits and get those good shift changes, you find a way to create energy up and down your lineup. The Bruins get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Sometimes when the PK isn't producing, you got to find a way to keep it simple. I remember those days, and it's all about straight line skating. When we have an opportunity to clear, get it down the ice. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Boston's in a much better position than they were earlier in this game. That's because of their resilience. And oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Buzz play continues. Can you feel the love tonight? Listen to this place here, Cheryl. I can feel it. You can feel it. And he can feel it after that last save. Because you know what fans appreciate? They appreciate effort, James. And that's how that save was made. The Bruins get a hold of it. The Bolts have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Poked away at center by Pasternak. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Great burst of speed to come up with it. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The Bolts gain control of the puck. Tampa Bay is looking to break out. Kucherov's got it on the offensive end. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Here comes the call. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Tampa Bay's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power play chance right here and an opportunity to redeem themselves after that shorty they gave up earlier. Offense is on faceoff and he wins the draw. And he rings the post! The Bolts are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately, they hit the pipe again. And another save. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dialed in, he tracked it perfectly. The Lightning have the puck in the defensive zone. That's not going to fool them. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Power play continues, and they'll look to set up here with this offensive zone draw. Well, they need to take advantage of the moment, not just the power play, but they're up against a fatigued goaltender who is not moving as well in his crease. Answers the call with a big save. And the puck's booted away. And he takes the dish. Great glove save by Sweeney. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Points at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. 
The Colts win the draw. Now let's see what they can do. Scores! to do is get in and get entry and when you already have a face off in the offensive zone you got to find a way to execute on the power play you know it's one of the most difficult things to do but when you win possession you can get the setup you can get the look that you want and that's what happened here the Bulls have gone in front at a critical time here in this one. It's a one-goal game here in the third. Well, it's exactly where they want to be, right? They have the lead, and they want to close this out. They're going to need to stay aggressive, stay on the puck, and not give any opportunities to their opponent. Skates to the crease. That's turned away with the pad by Vasilevsky. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Quite the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Who wins? Carlin Bade has her answer. Pasternak's been fun to watch as he's been able to generate more offense, guys. He's getting my vote in this one. Taken by Grislyk. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Grabbed along the board by Pasternak. Moves into the slot. Blocked in front. Huck picked up by Coyle. The Bruins have it on the offensive end. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Find some space in the corner. They are really busting here on the offensive end. And there's a hit with a little violence. And they skate it out of the danger zone. Quick pass to McAvoy. Feeds the puck to Marchand. Picked up along the boards by Coyle. A chance in front. Oh, stick save and a few. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. Vasilevsky's a warrior between the pipes and we've seen him give it his all to make a huge stop when the situation is called for it his contortionist zone ability is that athleticism to make those big desperation saves guys stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one takes a knock but he's still got the puck the Bruins scoop it up along the boards the Bolts will play it in their own end Moves the puck along the half wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And he denied that opportunity. There's another stop. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Sorelli's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And they'll dump it in. Tampa Bay's got the puck. The Bolts will play it through the neutral zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Can't maintain possession. Quick feed to Sorelli. The Bolts have it now. Pass back to the point. Oh, what a denial by Swayman! Ben Green's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Turn that chance aside. The Bruins gain control of the puck against the wall. From the place 99 made famous. Oh, saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear boos often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. The Bruins gain control of it. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Boston's on the attack. Poked away in the defensive end. Puck scooped up by Paul. Here's a short pass to Stamkos. Kicks it away from the crease. Great forecheck by Paul. 
Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Penalty coming up here. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. huge opportunity on this power play an effective power play throughout the game but this time this critical juncture to be on one right now is absolutely huge the coach knows it the team knows it they're humming they're firing but the pressure is on along the right side into the offensive zone on their heels trying to clear oh did they need that getting the puck out that's a great defensive play at this time of the game james listen when it's not in your zone they can score. That's the best play in my mind at this time. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Picked up along the wall by Van Riemsdyk. Blocked aside. Oh, turns it aside once again. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. And there's the save. Vasilevsky's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow things down. Well, he's been shelled, hasn't he, James? He's weathered every storm that's been thrown at him, and now he elects to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Tampa Bay's won the draw. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Bruins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Boston's in now. Tampa Bay's penalty killers get a hold of it. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Slides it diagonally to Kiki. Couldn't catch up to that pass. The Lightning have gained possession off the wall. Play whistle dead offside the call. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. The Bruins take control of the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by Marchand. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Angles it over to Kiki. Across the line along the left wall. Takes a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Tries to feed it over to DeBrusque. Boston's got it along the wall. With the stop. Vasilevsky's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here. Just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Boston's had more shots on goal, but yet they've run into a hot goalie. And they trail late in this third period. Stamkos is out of the box, but they are still shorthanded here. And the puck leaves the zone. Scooped up along the wall by Pasternak. The man advantage expires and a tip of the cap to the penalty killers who come up big. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in and... The whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. Boston's going to play the puck from behind the cage. The Bruins pick up steam and are on the attack. Glove save. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. A big face off here inside the offensive end. The Bruins win the draw. Let's it go. Kicked away. Nice pad save by the goaltender. Moves it to Hedman. The Bolts will play it from the defensive zone. 
Return pass. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Pushes it across to Pasternak. Gains the zone along the right wall. Takes it to the front. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. Sends it to the middle. And a little pass. And that's blocked in front. And that's poked away by Kucherov. Passed up ahead. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. Quick pass to SMO. Misses the net and will play on. Well, you work so hard to get these opportunities, and you have to find a way to execute and take advantage of your position on the ice. And somehow he hangs on. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to come. Oh, big tight save right there. Face-off coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck to Van Rienstein. Tampa Bay is looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Stamkos. They've got numbers. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Made that stop. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Here's a short pass to DeBrus. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Tampa Bay's got a hold of it against the wall. DeHaan's got it in the defensive end. The Bruins gain possession in their own end. DeBrusque's got the puck. They need a goal here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. To the empty net, and it misses. Tosses it to Kiki. Moves it to Pasternak. Intercepts it in the neutral zone. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Stamkos. This is a smart play right there, James, to put the puck in deep and just know the time and the awareness of the clock. You don't want any odd man rushes and you just want to kill it. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Grips it, rips it. Save right at the end. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Tampa Bay has picked up the win tonight in a game that it looked like they were kind of being dominated in some facets, but Cheryl, they found a way to make those opportunities count. And that's what great teams do, right, James? They find a way to cash in on the opportunities that they do get, but there's no question they were chasing the game. The first five strides weren't urgent, which means they weren't really retrieving it, which is why they didn't have the possession. Hope everyone had as much fun as we did here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski saying peace.